Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a differential equation. We have dx over dy equals 3y squared minus 6y. And we're going to be solving for y. So one of the things that you should pay attention to when you see a differential equation like this is we were not given dy over dx, we were given dx over dy, which is the reciprocal of dy over dx. So let's go ahead and multiply both sides by dy. And I'm going to write that first. So we'll get 3y squared minus 6y multiply by dy equals dx. Now let's go ahead and integrate both sides at this point since this is separable. Now if you integrate 3y squared you're going to get y cubed and 6y if you integrate that you're going to get 3y squared. And let's keep the constant on the right hand side. If you integrate dx you're going to get x and then let's just add a constant. So it looks like we're done with the solution of this differential equation. But here's the catch. Our goal is to solve for y, so that's what we're going to go for. How do you solve for y? Well, that is equivalent to solving a cubic equation. Let's go ahead and do it. To solve this cubic equation, first of all, I'm going to get rid of y squared. I don't need a quadratic term, or I shouldn't have a quadratic term. Let's go ahead and replace y with z plus 1. That's going to give us z plus 1 cubed minus 3 times z plus 1 squared equals x plus c. And then let's go ahead and expand it. z cubed plus 3z squared plus 3z plus 1 minus 3z squared minus 6z minus 3 equals x plus c. Now z squared, as you see, cancels out and we end up with z to the third power minus 3z minus 2 equals x plus c. So to be able to use the cubic formula, we're going to leave the z cubed and z on the left hand side and the constants on the right hand side. By the way, with respect to z, x would be a constant. So let's go ahead and add 2 to both sides. And then we're going to get something that looks like this. Obviously, since x and c and 2 are all constants, we can go ahead and set the whole thing equal to k. So let's go ahead and do that. And this will give us a much simpler cubic equation. So we're going to be solving this cubic equation, z cubed minus 3z equals k, where k is written as x plus c plus 2. Okay? Now, to be able to solve this problem, we're going to consider the formula or the identity a plus b cubed minus 3ab multiplied by a plus b equals a cubed plus b cubed. Remember, that's an identity we use a lot for factoring problems with cubics, and it's helpful uh, in terms of uh, using the cubic formula. So now, we're going to go ahead and call this z. a plus b is equal to z. So when we find the values of a and b, we're going to add them up to find z, and then from there, we're just going to go to y, because y is connected with z, right? Great, so let's see how this unfolds. Now, if you compare these two equations, you're going to notice that the coefficient of z in the first equation is negative 3. In the second equation, it's negative 3ab. So negative 3ab is equal to negative 3, which implies ab is equal to 1. So it's one of the equations that we're going to need to find a and b and we do need another equation, and that's going to come from here. a cubed plus b cubed equals k. Awesome. Now we've got ourselves a system of equations. Even though it looks cubic, it's actually quadratic. Let's go ahead and cube both sides here. We get a cubed b cubed equals 1. And then from the second equation, if we isolate b cubed, we can write it as k minus a cubed. And then we could plug it in here. Okay? So a cubed, b cubed equals 1. Now let's go ahead and replace b cubed with k minus a cubed. Remember k is a constant for now at least. Equals 1. And then distribute and put everything on the right hand side. You're going to get a to the 6th power minus k a cubed plus 1 is equal to 0. Awesome. 
Now remember, we're going to solve for A, and A and B are interchangeable, by the way, from symmetry. So we're going to find two solutions because this is quadratic in A cubed. So let's go ahead and use substitution one more time and call A cubed C. And that gives us C squared minus KC plus 1 equals 0. Awesome. Now, what do you do with this equation? Solve it using the quadratic formula. Easy, right? C is equal to negative B, which is K, plus minus the square root of B squared, K squared minus 4. And that is divided by 2. So there are two values for C. I can take one of them to be A cubed, the other one to be B cubed. Because remember, C is equal to A cubed, but at the same time, it's B cubed. So A can be written as cube root of C and as well as B. So from here, we get the following. And you can switch them around, but it wouldn't matter. I can take A to be the cube root of C, which is the positive 1. This is A. And then B is going to be the negative version. So let's go ahead and do the following. Actually, let me go ahead and write them down first, and then I'll add them. B is going to be the other one, the minus version. And again, if you switch them around, A plus B is going to be unchanged. So A and B are found from those equations. And now what I need to do is find Z using A plus B because Z is equal to A plus B. So Z is A plus B, which is the cube root of K plus the square root of K squared minus 4 divided by 2 plus the cube root of k minus the square root of k squared minus 4 over 2. So we found z, but we do need to find y, right? Let's go back and find uh, see how we can find y from here. y is z plus 1, so we're just going to add 1 to this value to find y. So y is just going to be this plus 1, right? y is equal to z plus 1. But what is k? k also has a meaning, doesn't it? k is equal to, from here it's a cubed plus b cubed, but we called it before x plus c plus 2. So k is equal to this, so we're going to replace k with that, x plus c plus 2. So y is going to be this expression right here, again what was uh, k, x plus c plus 2, I forgot, k is x plus c plus 2. I'm going to go ahead and replace it with that, x plus c plus 2 plus the square root of x plus c plus 2 squared minus 4 all over 2. And then the same thing with a minus sign. And then we'll be done pretty much. x plus c plus 2 minus the square root of x plus c plus 2 squared minus 4 over 2. And then we're just going to square root this. I guess I meant to square root it like this. And then this would be the y value plus 1. Of course, we have to add 1 as well because otherwise it would just be z. Make sense? Okay, so y is equal to this. So from here, what are we supposed to find? Nothing. That's the answer. So remember, our goal was to solve this differential equation. We did pretty easily, but then we wanted to solve for y. But of course, this is only one of the solutions because this cubic equation might have three inverses or the function. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.